most people don't know where their water comes from. It comes from the faucet. Electricity comes from the socket in the wall. Almost all of San Francisco's water comes from Yosemite National Park. The Tuolumne is the river that gives us the luxury of water in a dry climate. We teach them how to pronounce it. It's kind of hard to sound it out. It's a Native American word. So we say Tuolumne, Tuolumne. John Muir and the Sierra Club were very opposed to San Francisco building a dam in a national park and convinced Congress to deny it. But then we had the big earthquake in 1906. Buildings came crashing down, gas lines broke, half the city burned down. From the Hetch Hetchy Valley, the river begins to weave with an epic aqueduct. It took San Francisco a couple of decades to create this Hetch Hetchy water and power system. The battle over the Hetch Hetchy was also a struggle between public and private control of water and power. They got the water, they never got the power. Technically, it's not a glacier anymore. It's shrunk so much that it's uh, no longer moving. And climate change probably played a big role in the rim fire. 97% of the rim fire was in the Tuolumne River watershed. 70% of our bodies is water. 85% of our water comes from the Tuolumne River, so more than half of your body is Tuolumne River water. You carry it with you everywhere you go. So we all have to be good stewards of the Tuolumne. 